Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. This is the Doctor and we are continuing our look at the Season 8 revamped missions in Star Trek Online. So under episodes Klingon War missions, we just finished Treasure Trading Station and now it's time for Secret Orders. Let's see what they've changed in this mission. Your crew travels into the dangerous Briar Patch to discover what Ambassador Bavat is hiding. Admiral Starfleet in Admiral Starfleet Intelligence has learned more about Ambassador Bavat. Marta, the woman Starfleet rescued from the um, the woman Starfleet rescued from the treasure trading station, I guess me, claims that the Klingons have a secret base in the Rumai cluster and that they are used that they that they are using as a staging area for an attack on the federation i have been authorized to provide you with the coordinates of the klingon base proceed to the briar patch and find out what the klingons are hiding if there are any weapons there you are to deactivate or destroy them so the briar patch is in regulus so let's head there Since the last few missions, I've cleared out my inventory enough so that I have some space. I really need to do more. Look at look at these lock boxes. They need keys, folks. <laughs> and I have no Zen. I have no key money. I I recently ran out of all energy credits. Uh, so many boxes to unlock and no keys. I bet a lot of people know that feeling. Keys are too expensive on the exchange. I would love to get an Undine ship, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. Alright, the Briar Patch is down here. Remember, this is where Star Trek Insurrection took place? Was the Briar Patch? So I guess that's that part of space. Going to the serious sector. When you get too close to the system border, I hate how it keeps doing that. Some of these systems they put right on the edge. Craziness. Okay, here's the briar patch. Should be able to go right inside it. And begin secret orders. Let's find out what's new. Captain Ensign Ricky, long range, long range Rensors, <laughs> Rensors, are picking up several Klingon battle groups. They appear to be placing self-replicating disruptor cannon turrets throughout this region of space. If we don't take out those cannons, this entire asteroid belt will be br bristling with Klingon defenses. Also, there are um, maneuvering is a problem. We need to stay 4 km away from the gas clouds. Pretty much the same there. Captain, as you are aware, the Metreon clouds in this system require us to maintain low impulse speed. I do, sir. Ooh, we got an idea. I think if we modify the Bussard collectors to filter out only a percentage of the Metreon particles, then we could use excess energy to go full impulse without risk to the ship. I'm not exactly sure what that percentage might be, though. Oh, so if I'm science, you can do that. Um, the risk rate is failure very high, but if you're science, I guess that's an option that you can take. I'm engineering, so I don't get that option. Too risky. We'll adhere to Starfleet guidelines. So I'm guessing there will be an engineering option somewhere further in this mission, since there's now science. That's new. There did not used to be uh, career-specific things. Warning. Is I'm going to go ahead and blow these Metreon pa pockets that I see here. Get them out of my way. And 
will continue. Need to destroy Klingon turrets. There's one right there. None over there. Warning. Ship is under attack. If you're in an escort, you probably don't want to be doing what I'm doing, which is igniting all the Metreon pack, pack pockets. I can withstand it being in a um, uh, being in a cruiser. Sir, sensors are picking up energy signatures near the large asteroid, I believe it to be defensive turrets, guarding a facility on the surface. Sensor readings for this facility suggest some sort of military research base. I'll place a waypoint on it uh, for us to go to. So where's the waypoint then? Oh, I see up here. Looks like the intel we got from Marta pans out. The Klingons are definitely hiding something there. Warning. Ship is under attack. Beam to the station. So far, for an engineer, pretty much the same. It looks like there was a science option if you're a science officer, but we were not. Captain, the defenses have been neutralized. We should be able to proceed. The away team is standing by. They will transport on your command, except I just took a crap load of damage from a Metreon thing. But I'm still alive. Beam down. Obviously, they've changed this facility. It looks very Klingon y. Or maybe it always did. I can't remember. Captain, there are several Klingons here, but my tricorder also is picking up two additional life signs in the area. Hostages, maybe? Rescue the scientist. Yeah, I kind of remember this looking Klingon esque always. Total lockdown. We'll need to breach the doors, which we just did. Easily taken care of. Rescue captive scientists. Breach door. 
Like how it blows up right in your face. That makes sense. Yeah, I remember this mission now. This base has always looked Klingon. So no real changes to the design there, but the inclusion of career-specific missions interests me. Can't wait to see what the engineering option is. Scientist, thank you. These Klingons have had me designing weapons for them at disruptor points. The scientists who finished their research are taken away. We're the only two left, and apparently they they are Cardassians. Never noticed that before. Or at least that one was Cardassian. I'd be happy to tell you what I know, but ask fast. Well, you can go through all this when you play it. I'm not going to right now. The Klingons are planning something big. They have been forcing us to design weapons. They want improved disruptor and torpedoes for their ships, but some of their demands have been very specific. They want a weapon that can punch through solid neutronium, which is impossible, and they keep talking about torpedoes with payloads big enough to destroy a small planet. Uh, this is an allusion, or foreshadowing, to um, the uh, Doomsday device. Were any of, your any of you successful in designing these weapons? There are prototypes of some of the new weapons in the laboratory here, as well as schematics on the base computers. If I were you, I'd destroy the prototypes and the schematics. Neither side needs that kind of destructive power. Rescue both scientists. Well, hold on. Rescue both scientists and then destroy the experimental weapons in the main laboratory. So let's do that. Again, the doors blow up in your face. That makes a lot of sense. Enemy combat. Let's see if this room's changed any. heads inside the door. Okay, we've got the four weapons on the corners. Yeah. Enemy Looks the enemy. same. Enemy same layout. Well, we cleared the room. I have placed a bomb on an experimental weapon. That also does not s <laughs> sound like a smart idea. It surely will destroy the base, though. Put a spatial charge on each weapon. It's going to be one huge explosion. Well, I don't know where the engineering option is yet. Still haven't seen it. Nor the tactical option. It's got to be somewhere. For these sword masters, when you are a new player, they are a tough cookie to crack. Not so tough when you're max level, but... Yeah. When you start this game as a new player, those sword masters are a pain in the butt. And even worse are the Dahar masters. Captain, ship scanners indicate a computer core in your vicinity. Can you upload its contents? I sure can. I'm good at that. Uploading contents is what I do.
defeat the ambush. I love that turret. Okay, there we go. Beam up to the ship. Now, at this point, I remember that we had to do more. I think we had to fight our way all the way back to the beginning. But I guess not anymore. I don't remember. Anyway, Captain, we have the data. Hold on. Red alert. There's a Klingon ship leaving this facility. Please return so we can pursue. Right. I do remember that part. We had to pursue a ship. Ha ha ha. You are so predictable. And like a Tarkalian sheep, you were blindly led to the slaughter. I knew you would find my weapon research station. I was the one who sent Marta to give Starfleet its location. While you were busy destroying what you thought to be all of our work, my crews were busy offloading the more promising weapons and data onto the ship that has a nice head start on you. You have lost this day. Victory is mine and mine alone. It's a good day for you to die. Morning. So here's a tactical option. Yeah, so system server I suppose. And since there's like several Klingon ships are attempting to skim the system, they appear to be trying to use the asteroid. If we hurry, we should be able to stop the Klingon ships from the stable of weapons. Yes. Well, they're attacking me while I'm trying to read. That's no good. Which way am I supposed to go? I need to find the ships. I don't even see them. Where are they? Well, remote detonation first. Yay, that's gone. Now, where are the ships I'm supposed to be following? There, maybe? Alright, I can't go full impulse. But I'm still faster than them. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shield has failed. Okay, depart system. Well, that was fast. Nothing too major, but where the heck was the engineering option? I saw tactical, and I saw science, but where was my engineering option? Did I miss it? Well, you guys can let me know in the comments where I missed it, because I did not see it. Unless there was something else I was supposed to do that I didn't do. Well, anyway, I'm sure you guys will let me know what I missed there, because... I saw the science, I saw the tactical, but I didn't see the engineering. Oh, well. Why is the cubic mall in there? I don't want that. Okay, well. That, my friends, was Secret Orders. So I hope you all enjoyed that. Not a whole lot different about that mission. Pretty much the same. Except for the new career specific things, which I saw the tactical and science, but I didn't see the engineering, so I must have missed something there. Well, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.